Okay, we're starting off here on 501 and Main Street, 772. And we're gonna do another scale model of the galaxies this time. Here, Darren. So, our home galaxy is the Milky Way. And the, our solar system is about halfway out it's the Milky Way in an arm. Our Milky Way is about 100,000 light years from side to side. And it's home to about 200 billion stars. For our scale model, a solar system, I'm sorry, a galaxy is going to be shrunk down about the size of a CD. You know what those are, compact disc. And galaxies are about 100 times wider than they are thicker. So our galaxies are really, really thin and really wide. For our scale, our scale is going to represent every four feet is going to represent one million light years. Remember, a light year is the time that light can travel in one year. Light travels at about 186,000 miles every single second, and that light's going to travel for 100,000 years. That's how long it takes for light to get from one side of the galaxy to the other side of the galaxy. Okay, so we're going to use this sort of as our scale, and we're going to go to our first galaxy beyond our own Milky Way galaxy. We're going to go south on 501 towards Lancaster. Here we go. Okay, here we are at 2.4 meters. You can see we're still at the fountain. This is a really close galaxy. This is M31, also known as the Andromeda Galaxy. Can you take a look and tell me what type of galaxy there it is? Remember, we have spiral galaxies, we have elliptical galaxies, and we have irregular galaxies. This is a spiral galaxy. It is about 2.3 million light years away from our galaxy, and it's 150,000 light years across. It's a little bit larger than our Milky Way galaxy. This galaxy, according to our scale, will be about seven inches, which is about the size of a salad plate. Okay, next up. Can you see a lead up there? Yep. Wait. Here we are at the next galaxy. See, we still didn't go far. We're still kind of at the water fountain. Here. Uh, this is the M33 galaxy. This is a pinwheel galaxy. It is 2.4 million light years away. And it is 60,000 light years across. It's a little bit smaller than our galaxy. According to our scale, it is 2.4 meters away from where we started. It would only be about three inches in diameter. Okay, next up. Here we go. Okay, we did go a little bit further just so we're not in the middle of the street, but not too much further. So this is M81. This is a spiral galaxy. It is 12 million light years from where we started. It is 75,000 light years across. And according to our scale, it'll be about seven and a half centimeters in diameter. Okay, next up. Oh. How many galaxies are there? Okay, here we are at NGC 
0.65. Can you see what kind of galaxy this is? This is a side view of the galaxy. Notice how flat it is, but in the center we have this big bulge. That is the nucleus at the very center of the galaxy. This is a spiral galaxy. It is 31 million light years from where we started. And it is 150,000 light years across. It's a little bit larger than our Milky Way galaxy. According to our scale, it will be about 7 inches in diameter, like a salad plate again. And we are here at the police station. Okay, onward. This is M66. Can you tell what kind of galaxy this is? This is a spiral galaxy. We are 35 million light years away from our starting point, the Milky Way. It is 80,000 light years across, so it's about four inches in diameter. We're still outside the police department, still on the other side. Here we go to the next one. Here we are at M51, the Whirlpool Galaxy. Can you tell me what type of galaxy this is? This is a spiral galaxy. But there's also a companion galaxy next to it. The distance is 37 million light years from our Milky Way galaxy down by the fountain. It is 120,000 light years across. It's a little bit larger than our Milky Way galaxy. And so that'd be about five inches in diameter. Next up, here we go. I did go a little farther just so we weren't on the roadway. But this is M104, the Sombrero Galaxy, because it looks like a sombrero hat. Can you tell me what kind of galaxy this is? This is a spiral galaxy, and the view is pretty close to all, directly on its edge, but not exactly. We are 50 million light years from our starting point, the Milky Way, by the water fountain. And it is 75,000 light years in diameter. Okay, here we are at the M87 galaxy. Can you tell me what kind of galaxy this is? This is an elliptical galaxy, so it's pretty circular, egg-shaped. Its distance is 60 million light years from where we started. So again, that means it takes like 60 million years to get from the Milky Way to here. So this was, the light that we're seeing now from this galaxy Start left the gal that galaxy around the time of the dinosaur extinction. Dinosaurs it went extinct about 65 million years ago. So this is around the time the dinosaurs ex went extinction. So we're looking at light that is 65 million years old when we look at this galaxy. This galaxy is 120,000 light years in diameter. So that makes it about a so size of a softball. Okay, for this next galaxy, we're going to have to take a trip in our car. Okay, here we go.
Okay, so we traveled two miles from the water fountain on 501 and 772. We're by the CVS and Moe's. And at the two mile mark, what we have here are Quasars. This is Quasar 3C 273. Remember, Quasars are rapid bursts of high energy and high light. Um, we can also consider this like an elliptical galaxy. This is 2.5 billion light years away from our Milky Way galaxy up by the water fountain 501 and the main street. The size is 100,000 light years across in diameter. So this would be about the size of a softball. So again, we're, according to our scale, we're two miles away from the Milky Way, which is 2.5 billion light years. So when we look at these quasars, that takes the light from there 2.5 billion years to get to us, which is, our Earth, if you remember, is 4.6 billion years. So it takes about, you know, close to half of the Earth's existence just to get here. Our solar system is 5 billion years, so it took the half of the existence of our solar system for the light from these quasars just to reach us. Next up, this image, you want to zoom in here, this is the Hubble Deep Field. So the Hubble Deep Field shows some of the most distant galaxies that we can see. This image is used to represent the limit of our observable universe. What do we mean by the observable universe? This is how much we can literally see. How far can we see? What is the extent of our visibility? The answer to that question is 13.7 billion light years. If we were to travel to this location, 13.7 billion light years away, we would be on the southern end of Lancaster City by the Conestoga River. So we'd have to hop in our car and drive down there to go visit the observable universe distance. Okay. are 10 miles south of the 501 and 772 intersection in Lidditz by the water fountain and we made it to the Conestoga Greenway Trail down the southern part of Lancaster and we are at the Conestoga River. So at this point we are 13.7 billion light years away from we are at, uh, this picture represents the Hubble Deep Field. This shows some of the most distant galaxies that we can see. Uh, this image is used to represent the limits of our observable universe, what we can actually see. So we are 10 miles south, which represents 13.7 billion light years. So it takes light, 13.7 billion light years to get from here to where we started in Lidditz. Why can we only see 13.7 billion light years away? Because that's how old our universe is. Our universe started about 13.7 billion years ago, and that's when our first light was created. So that's how far 
that we can, we can see because it took 13.7 billion light years for the, a billion years for that light to get here. So, if we were to take a look at our Hubble deep field in the night sky, this picture was taken just above the Big Dipper. So if we zoom in on the Big Dipper picture, that plus sign represents where this picture was taken within the night sky. Okay, so this is it. We're at the edge of the universe. Let's hit hyperspeed to the speed of light and let's head back home to the Milky Way.